Hi, I'm Alex from Tutoring Heroes. Today I'm going to help you with some maths. Let's go and have a look at the problems we're going to solve today. So we're going to do multiplication using the compact method. I'm actually going to start by showing you the expanded method and then I'm going to show you how to do the compact method at the same time. So 23 times 5, it says write out the numbers in the correct column. So I'm going to have a tens column and a units column or a ones column and I'm going to have it multiplied by 5, 5 goes into the units column, equals. Now I'm actually just going to write one part of the equal sign because I'm going to have the expanded version first to show you. So it says use the bottom number to multiply the tens and the units. So if I multiply 5 times 3, I get the answer 15. And then if I do 5 times 20, or two tens, I would get 100 because two tens times five is 10. And then you have the multiplied by another 10. So 20 times five is 100. Two tens times five is 100. Then it says combine the totals. Now, because multiplication is just repeated addition, I'm actually gonna have to add all of these up together. And this is where my real equal sign comes in. 5 add nothing is 5. 110 add no tens is 1. And 100 add no other hundreds is 115. And that would be my answer. That is called the expanded written method because I have had to expand out my answers. I'm going to now show you the compact method and you're not actually going to need to combine the totals and you're going to get the same answer. So this time I'm going to do 3 times 5 is 15 and I'm going to carry over the tens here. Now sometimes you can carry the tens up here or you can carry them underneath. That is completely fine. Different teachers show different methods. You put them wherever you want to remember them. So I have always write mine underneath. Then I'm going to do 2 times 5, 2 tens times 5. I'm not actually going to do 20 times 5, I'm just going to do 2 times 5, which is 10, which I normally would write here, 10, because I've got 0 tens and 100, but I actually have this one to add on as well. So I had 2 times 5 is 10, plus this extra tens, which is down here. So it's going to be 11. So I've done exactly the same as I did in the expanded method, but I've just added as I've gone along rather than in the expanded version where you add and combine at the end and you get the same answer. So that is using the compact method. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.